Okay, I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, check this out. This isn't full. Check this out. Hi everyone, so today we are looking at doing something pretty special inside the cabin. We are going to be looking to adjust the fuel tank settings and to adjust the fuel economy based on the fact that the tyres and the circumference of the tyres have been upgraded and a long range fuel tank has been added instead of the, uh, the actual OEM tank. So let's have a little look to see what that is requiring because we've got to reprogram some of the systems here uh, because of the changes that's going to be made to the vehicle. So let's consider the tyres first. Uh, the tyres themselves are Falcon all-terrains and they are a specific size. When I did some of the um, uh, the, the research for this. This is the, the best I could get to fit. So you can see that uh, what we've got is 305 70R16s and uh, what I had to need, do was to actually uh, ensure I um, used a, um, a tyre calculator to look at the actual circumference themselves, calculate the actual tyre specifications against the circumference of the tyre so I could input that into Forescan. And Forescan is a software that we're going to be using. So what we need to do is to log into Forescan.org and you're going to have to download the Forescan depending on the, the, um, the platform you're using. In this case, uh, Windows is, uh, is the main platform. I, I can't access a version for uh, Mac, uh, but uh, I have a laptop with Windows, so I, I'm able to access that for Windows. So I've downloaded that for Windows, and you can, you can see which version that uh, you currently have access. You can see the version I've got access to, so I've downloaded that and installed it on my Windows PC. But what is going to be important is that you can actually get a, a long-term license for this piece of software. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I looked at the, the free license option, which is limited to two months to see uh, if I can make the correct changes to see where I was going to go on. Uh, and this is the process for that. So you have to look at for the free and paid extended licenses. I'm, I'm going to be looking at an extended license for two months. And so what you need to be doing is just look at the information about that. Uh, the website is pretty clear. You can access all this and make sure that you, you've got all the information. And it, it does give you a pretty straightforward step-by-step -step process in order to ensure you know how to download and how, what the process is. You have to get certain pieces of information and you have to get certain pieces of hardware. So what I'm going to be looking at now is just going to give you an example of what the hardware is that I'm using. This is an OBD adapter and this is the device that connects into the connection for uh, dealing with the, the, the communication into the vehicle. So this end goes into this section of uh, the vehicle um, by the fuse box and by the steering wheel and obviously this is connected to your PC. So this is going to be the important piece of equipment that enables to communicate between the software and the vehicle. And you will see in this case this adapter has a switch built into it and this switch actually switches between two types of systems HS system and MS system and this is going to be important because you will need to use this switch when you connect this to the vehicle depending on what the adjustments you're going to make and the settings you're going to make and the software is pretty clear it actually tells you when to switch this switch to one side for the MS and the other side for the HS so it's pretty straightforward you just flick the switch in certain directions and that will make this work I've got my uh, my Windows laptop, which obviously uh, is the, the piece of device that I'm going to be using in the car to be able to change this. And you can see, uh, actually, in this case, uh, I've got uh, some settings here which I've already been able to uh, plug into the vehicle. So when I connect the hardware to the, the laptop, um, what I'm getting is the hardware code, a hardware ID code, and I can use the Forescan uh, uh, software to be able to identify what that is, the actual copy of that, and I'm going to need that in order to get the license that I can get, this temporary license. And then I have to fill in this form that is uh, available online, and it was pretty straightforward. You can see the information you need to put in, your name, your email, and that ID that you can pick up from uh, the software and the hardware uh, of the, the adapter that you're using. Um, and then when you've done that and you email them and you send that in, you submit it in, uh, I had a reply back within 30 minutes uh, giving me access to download uh, an actual license key uh, that I'm able to install into the, into the laptop. So to adjust for the different size fuel tank, 
there is a IPC module configuration here here and when you go into the IPC module configuration uh, you will be um, asking it to uh, look at the actual tank size and go into the tank configuration but you have to change from HS to MS and um, the adapter will do that so let's give you an example um, so I'm actually going to go into so let's have a little look I'm in the IPC module configuration so I'm going to click run this service procedure and it's asking me to switch uh, the switch from the HS to the MS option so I'm going to be doing that and then click OK so let's run that procedure and I can now access all the elements that I need to access to do this IPC so currently the fuel tank size is 80 litres so I'm going to edit this change the fuel size to the new size tank which is 140 click OK right. board value, new value tire circumference because that has an impact on the economy and the mileage so I've come to the body CM module configuration so when I go into that from this configuration setting body module configuration to here and then I look at the tire circumference so I can actually type in at the top search criteria and you'll see it pop up and you see I've actually adjusted the settings already so the settings were 2300 and something previously so uh, I've adjusted that to, to the actual millimeters that I've now got for the circumference of the tires that exist which push the boundaries right because uh, th these are uh, all terrains Falcon all terrains so here's an interesting observation for you I don't know if you can see uh, the wrench icon which has appeared uh, on the dashboard here and this uh, wrench icon uh, is basically uh, saying that if, uh, I've changed some settings uh, and you can see the, uh, the actual amount of kilometers now to empty because the settings have changed on the fuel tank sensor um, but what I now need to go is to change the um, elements on uh, the four scan uh, dashboard um, and, and I'll show you which elements I have to go into because I have to reset the PCM reset the TCM um, and make sure that uh, the car actually recognizes all of these changes okay I'm hoping you can see this uh, check this out this isn't full check this out 